So here's the packs. So that's one inch coming in, and then they've got a compression on here that goes down to three quarter inch copper. And it comes up to a head stop, whatever you would call this, and then it goes to a five eighths inch uh, meter. And then right now it goes through a um, dual check and do a shut off and then it goes packs over, which I just have it jumped over to, to feed right now. But the new plan is I wanna take this meter out. They gave me the jumper. So this is the, the dummy meter and there's, there's black washers that go on here. There's a pile of them right there. And so this meter will attach to that and then I need it to turn down and line up with that. And that's why I had to shorten that 90 was because it was putting me too far out to where I'm like not lining up. I needed to be, you know, back here more. And so it'll line up. Um, and I think it's going to work out perfect. So this will be a um, temperature and pressure gauge that looks like this just so I can tell... Uh, you know what the temperature and the pressure is coming in so then the water will go down it splits here and it'll run all the way around and over to all of this but it's also going to continue around the room and come in the bottom of my mana block and then this way it comes up and goes over to the top of the mana block so that way the whole thing is pressure balanced so that it's getting pressure from down here as well as up here. So no matter what you do, if you if you flush a toilet, you know, right now it's only coming in here. So if you need water in the shower and you flush a toilet, it's stealing flow, you know, and pressure. So this ends up starving. So now it'll be fed from both ends and the whole room will be pressure balanced. I did the same thing here. Um, I made all these. This goes out to my um, hose bib on the balcony. This goes to my hose bib on the driveway. And this is for my irrigation system. So in the winter, I can open all these up. I can uh, open this up and close this and close this. And I can drain all this into a hose and put it over to the sump pit and drain basically all the hose bibs in the irrigation um, you know, just drain them, drain them all out in the winter time. So yeah, so tomorrow I'm hoping to, uh, pull this out, put the jumper in, get all these joints tight. At least I'll have water in this. There is water in this right now from here over, um, because it's being back fed from the bottom. So there is, uh, 45, 50 pounds of pressure, uh, in there now. And that doesn't leak. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay guys, so fast forward to today, the day that I'm actually uploading this video. And I feel like I should go back and give a little bit more of an explanation about the water meter uh, part of that. I was never really even gonna upload that video as a part of the installation series, but I thought it might uh, help some people. So what I ended up doing was I called my local water authority, the Erie County Water Authority here in Erie County, New York, and they were great. I told them what I wanted to do. I wanted to upgrade my meter from the 5 ace to a 1 inch, and they told me if I stopped by their shop, they would give me basically a dummy meter or a jumper, and that's what that blue meter was that you saw. And what that allowed me to do was, on the video you just watched, I shut the incoming water off at that head stop, and then I was able to fit all of this piping in place with that dummy jumper meter. Okay, and then once I got that done, I wanted to upgrade this pipe from the three quarter that it was to one inch, but I can't do that because it needs to be shut off out at the street. And I don't have permission or the key or any of that to do that. So what I did was once I got everything kind of exactly where I wanted it, I called the water authority they had a guy here in like 30 minutes. He shut the water off to the house. He then let me come down and I had already bought a new compression fitting that goes from one inch poly or PEX to one inch copper. So I took that one you just saw in the video that went down to three quarter, took that out, replaced it with that, 
came up with one inch, put a, a ball valve in instead of those, uh, you know, the old uh, gate style valves, and then turned and went into my jumper, basically. Um, once I had that done, I called them, they came back, they took out the jumper and they put in the real meter and they put their security and their lock and everything on it. And then they turned the water back on at the street and we checked it for leaks and everything was good. So they, they left. Um, so yeah, basically that's how I upgraded the meter from, and all the piping from basically getting choked down from going one inch to three quarter to a five eighths inch meter. This is all one inch all the way through. And you can see here, uh, my, my pressure now is, is also a little bit higher. I think some of that, that, that dual check valve that you saw that I used to have, um, that was primarily because I have the water backup sump pump and I think that's required by code. So I bought another one and what I'll do is put that dual check right on the line to the sump pump. And that's so that if something were to go wrong with the internals of that water backup, you're not getting sump pump you know, water that's going back into your main water supply. So that'll be protected then right at the fixture instead of having to be protected over here for the whole house because that's not required. So yeah, so far I'm, I'm real happy with this upgrade. It was money well spent. It was not that expensive. Uh, working with the local water authority here was super easy, really good guys. Uh, they were very helpful. You know, no, no complaints. Uh, the whole process was very easy and the charge was very minimal. I think it was, I don't even remember now, it was less than $100 if I remember correctly. So yeah, um, but now I've got a new one inch meter, which you'll start to see in future videos as I upload, because I don't think I really ever recorded that whole process. So, um, you know, I, I threw that video in there this morning to kind of show you guys that and how the whole uh, thing was pressure balanced and all that. But uh, but yeah, it's so far it works great. And uh, hopefully that helps kind of explain things a little bit better for the video you just watched. So any questions, feel free, ask me below. I'd be glad to answer them as best I can. And uh, thanks for watching.